In this video, we will learn a very important concept of data validation in Google Sheets. And what it means is that we only want valid data in our cells. For example, this is my state cell in which we can only have legal abbreviation of Australian states. For example, ACT denotes Australian Capital Territory, South Australia, Victoria, Queensland, Northern Territory, Western Australia and so on. And we want that if someone tries to enter a wrong data or invalid input, the system must indicate this in any manner. So this is the purpose of data validation. And when we apply data validation to any column or any range, then we get a little arrow here and from that arrow anyone can click and a drop down list will appear in which we will have some valid inputs and the person will select only the valid input and apply that to that particular cell. So how to do that? I will show you three examples and hopefully you will understand this concept in detail during the process. So let us assume that I want to validate this column. So the best practice is that you create a new tab when the entries are too many. So I have created a new tab here which is uh, named as protected. And in this tab I have the names of all the states written. And what additional thing I can do is that I can protect this range as I have explained in another video how to protect a range. So I can protect this range. Let's say I can select this and then I can click on data and protect sheet and ranges. I call it protected and then I can enter a description for example protected by me and in set permissions I set only you. It means only I will be able to edit this range even if I share this sheet. So you can watch a separate video for details but this is the good practice. So I protected this data and now what I do is in my sheet where I want to apply the data validation I select this column and of course there is header on this column and header is included at the moment and I will show you what to do with the header. So I select this column then I click on data and data validation and then I apply data validation to this uh, range and this is the range to which data validation is applied uh, when you select whole column. Google Sheets uh, selects 1000 rows in the beginning and now if I click on this list from a range there are few options I can select for the criteria. I can list from a range which I am going to show you in the beginning then I will show you how to list from items or number. So let us first start from list from range. If I click list from range then I click on this uh, sheet icon. If I click here now I can select the range but my range which I want to select is in the protected tab. So I click on protected and I select only these numbers which I would like to include in my drop down list in that column where I want to apply data validation. And you can double check here A2 to A9, A2 to A9 and click OK. Now this validation has been applied to my list. Now if for example someone tries to enter an invalid data what I want system to do show the warning only or reject input. So I would like to reject input and then I can also show a helping text when I reject. In the warning case only a warning will appear and I will show you how that looks. But in reject case I can also put some helping text to that person so that that person will know what the mistake he or she is doing. So I click on this and here I can say this is not a valid Australian state code something like this and save. Now I have applied data validation to this column and this is the warning. This uh, little orange or red arrow this is a warning and it says input must fall within specified range. The first thing is I don't want this warning to be in my header because header the purpose of header is not to store any state name. So therefore I want to delete data validation from my header. So I select the header 
and probably this I should do when I have done the second data validation example here as well. But let's do it and to do that we click on data then data validation and then remove validation and now you will see that that drop down uh, arrow has gone there is no warning because all these states are valid and now let us assume that I want to put another name here so I have the option to select from this drop down list and if I want to put something else and try to enter it will show me this message this is not a valid Australian state code I can further explain in this message that please put the valid Australian state code or something like that and I click on OK. Now this was when you are validating from a range. Now let us see how to validate from item list. This is another example where assume that our club has two type of memberships basic and premium and we have applied a discount and if I click here you will see that if membership equals premium apply 75% discount otherwise 50%. Now membership the word membership is appearing here because I have named my range. I have named this column as membership. So how to make a named range? I have a separate video for that but very simple you just select, select the column and then you click on data and named ranges and then you can name this. I have already named membership so I don't want to rename to anything else so just cancel this but as you can see this is my named range and it has all the E column. So let's cancel this. So therefore in my formula you see this membership. Now we are talking about data validation so let us assume that I only want either the word basic or the premium in this column E. So to apply data validation again I select this column data data validation and now instead of list from a range I select list of items and in this item list I can put all the items separated with commas and these are case sensitive you must note this thing if I put premium all capital it will only accept all capital and now I want to also reject the input or show warning so let us this time just show warning and I click save. Now if I try to put something else now this red marker will appear and it will show input must be an item on specified list. So this is the specified list here so I can select from here basic and similarly here let's say premium and then I can drag this formula and the formula will apply to all my memberships. Now the last example I would like to show is let's say I want to restrict that only adult can get the membership. So I will do this uh, in the actual sheet uh, in a more sophisticated way but because here just we are just learning data validation. So I want to check the age is greater than 18. So 18 or any greater number is a valid input in this column. So this is our scenario. So to apply data validation I again select this column data data validation and this time I select number and these options are context based options. So these options depend on what you select here. So I have selected here number and now it is showing me between this and that but when I select greater than or equal to so no one option will disappear because no greater than or equal to means that I am going to put only one number here which is 18 and I am going to reject the input I am going to show a helping text that no minors are allowed our membership something like that save and now if I click here 17 age 17 and I will get this message and if I enter any number let's say 18 everything is fine no because I see these two red marks here so I should remove the data validation from the header so select the header again data data validation remove data validation so this is how you apply data validation to your Google Sheets. 
and you can have drop down list from where someone can select the valid options.